I've received requests from people who have asked for a deep dive walkthrough on how you can use Kittle specifically on Redbubble. So in this video, I've got two main strategies to help you supercharge your Redbubble journey using the awesome powers of Kittle. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first strategy involves starting on Redbubble and then using Kittle. So what we're gonna do first is go onto Redbubble and we're gonna find a niche with subpar artwork. And then using Kittle, we're gonna go in and we're gonna dominate the niche. Let me show you how this is done. One of my favorite places in the world is a beach called Makaha and it's on the west side of Oahu, which of course is in Hawaii. There you can see Honolulu and it's on the west side right here, right by a town called Waianae. So I want to do a design that's going to capture my love specifically for Makaha and Waianae and this area of Hawaii. Now when I go into Redbubble and I do a search, I can see here for Makaha surfing, there's only really 61 results and no offense, but I don't think they're all you know particularly that great. I certainly think I could use Kittle here to make designs that are pretty good. So I'm gonna use this as my keyword, and I'm gonna jump into Kittle and see if I can do better graphically than what I'm seeing here on Redbubble. Now, if you've never seen Kittle before, today's your lucky day. There's a whole bunch of templates that you can use. You simply pick a template, and then you can start building your design. It's pretty much a plug and play what you see is what you get editor. So I'm gonna click on the little search button here and I'm just gonna type in the words Hawaii just to see what comes up. It's just gonna give me a brainstorm here. Okay, and we can see here we've got a whole bunch of different designs. We've got about 12 of them. So I'm going to pick this one here. It says California surfing, but I'm actually gonna modify it now to be my Hawaii design. So I'm simply gonna click use this design and now the design loads in. Now I can simply click on anything and a little window's gonna pop up on the right and I can change it. Okay, so it's pretty easy now. Instead of California, I'm just gonna double click on this and I'm gonna type in the word Hawaii and then down where it says Venice Beach, I'm simply gonna double click it and I'm gonna type Makaha and now we've got that. I'm actually gonna take this little piece here and just control C and control V if you want to change the color of anything in here, it's pretty easy to do. I'm just going to click on Hawaii again, and you'll see the text color comes up here on the right-hand side. You could simply click the text color now, and I could change this if I wanted to. For example, I could make it red, or I could make it any color that I want. There's also an eyedropper tool, so I could hover over the flower, for example, and I can have it match, and I think that's really important if you want a professional-looking design. I want to change the stars. Well, here's the group colors over here. I could make these yellow so I'll simply move along here, I'll make them yellow, and I think that looks good. Again, I could use the eyedropper tool if I wanted to match the yellow that's right on the top. Very easy to do. Now one thing I really love about Kittle is I can click the background, so I'm just clicking inside the background here, and you'll see the background is now 100% opacity. What I could do is I can simply move this right down, and it changes it now to be a true background that is gone. So I love that too. So this is perfect now for a t-shirt. So I'm gonna save this, and I'm going to click the download button on the top right-hand side. It's gonna give me an option now on what size I should use. Now, if you're using the Pro Plan, you can certainly go 300, and you can make this thing pretty much as big as you want. So let's say you wanted to do 8,000, and that'll default to the largest export size that's around. So you'll see here in inches, it is 16 inches by 20 inches, which is pretty big. So that's the maximum size that I've got there. Now I am actually gonna save this as a PNG file. If you're wondering which one to use, right, there's four options. Well, on Redbubble, you want the background to be transparent and you want that to be transparent for a T-shirt. However, if you're gonna use it as a sticker, then you wanna have it with a background. So I wanna show you a common mistake that you might run into, especially if you're a beginner. You'll see here, here's my design on Redbubble. And when I hover over the t-shirts, you'll notice that it doesn't look that great. There's a bunch of marbling on it. And the reason for that is because inside of Kittle, there's actually still, although you can't see it, there's still a texture that's sitting on top of it. Now, if I move the background color, if I change the background color to something where you can see it, it'll pop up a lot easier. So there you can see the background now is showing that that's marbled. So what I want to do is remove my background. I'm going to put this down to 0%. But then I also want to take this texture and move that down to 0%. 
You can also just delete the texture right over here on the right where it says delete. When I click delete, it'll go away. You can see now the design looks a bit clearer. So now I'm going to save this as a PNG and as a JPEG. This is important for Redbubble. You want to save both PNG and JPEG. Okay, so we're back on Redbubble now and you can see my design looks great. And I can click on my standard print, my large print clothing. At the size that I downloaded it, you can see there's still some wiggle room here. You can actually make it a bit larger. And you want to double check it just by clicking on the default color just to make sure that you don't have any weird wild background shenanigans going on as well. Sometimes you want that retro textured background and sometimes you don't. So I think that looks fantastic. Now here's the kicker. We downloaded the JPEG file as well. So as I turn on all of these different designs, we're going to see here with stickers and magnets, you'll notice it's a what they call a kiss cut. Now you may really like this. And if you like this, great, not a problem. I'm not a fan of this little hole right in the middle of surfing in Makaha Beach. The reason it does that is because there is no background on this design, so Redbubble is manually adding in the, in the white. So what I'm going to do instead now is replace the image just for my sticker and of course magnets as well, but I'm going to click the replace image button. And now it's uploaded my JPEG into my sticker and when I click on it, we can see now how much better that looks. It's a straight rectangle. I absolutely love the way that looks. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to update all of these, but I wanted to point out as well, you can tile them. So don't forget about that. I'm going to click on the jigsaw puzzle, for example. We can see here, as much as I love this design, there's a huge amount of white space on the left and on the right. So what I'm going to do instead is just scale this right down. I'm going to choose a pattern of offset grid and I'll apply the changes. And now we have a jigsaw puzzle that actually fills up the entire width and size of the jigsaw puzzle. You can see here at the size that I downloaded it with Kittle, even the shower curtain, which is typically hard to do, is quite large at 100%. That actually looks really good on the shower curtain. Now I could as well, I could lower this down and I could choose a pattern and that looks really nice on the shower curtain as well. Totally your choice. Be an artist and have some fun. Okay, so that covers the red bubble strategy. We can go in and we can dominate the niche with superior designs. The second strategy is actually the opposite. So what I'm going to do first is start in Kittle and I'm going to pick a template that I like and then I'm going to scale it up to different niches. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to start in Kittle and I'm just going to pick a design that just strikes my fancy. So here's one. It says camper van community and I'm going to click use this design. Okay, so here's where we diverge paths in the second strategy. I'm not really looking on Redbubble and I'm not really caring too much about a niche at this point. I'm just looking at this design and I'm asking myself, how can I scale it up? In other words, what can I change about it where I can make 10, 20, 50 different designs? So I'm going to double click on camper van and I'm going to say something like happy camper community. And because it's a little bit bigger, I'll just make sure this is stretched out. And then I can just simply move this exactly where I would like it to go. So how many phrases could you come up with where you could have this be your t-shirt design? Here's an example. It's really just two lines of text. And so although the design itself has stayed the same, you could come up with any sort of funny or even serious design that you want just by switching up the text. Okay, so here's a great example. I want it to say living the life in Minnesota. So I'm just going to move Minnesota down. I'm going to say living the life up here. And now I can switch it up. Now, if I don't like that particular type of font, I simply double click it. I can control A and I can highlight the whole thing. And I can go over here to the right and I can pick a different type of font. So I could scroll over and say I want adventurer number one, for example. Slightly different font. Adventurer number six. Oh, I really like that one. Maybe I do that one. There's all sorts of different fonts. I'll pick Anton here. So there's my now my new design. And really the idea here is you're picking a simple design, although it looks really professional, it could be scaled up. And that's the idea here is you want to scale this up to as many different ideas as you can so that you can quickly and efficiently export them out. So within one evening, you could easily have 50 or 60 designs that are all high quality and they're they all have different keywords because the text itself is different. Now the one downside to this strategy is that when I type in Camping Montana, for example, there's almost 6,000 results. So I'm not suggesting that with this second method you're going to find high quality niches. However, you will have competing designs from a 
professional standpoint because these designs at the top are pretty nice, but I'll say I'd stack this one up as well. I do want to point out as well, there is an image library over on the left hand side. So you could add in elements and designs and all sorts of text if you want in addition to the template. So for example, I'm going to click on elements, illustrations, and I'm going to click on this retro sunset right here at the top. That's going to pop it in here. And then what I can do now is make this bigger, right click it, and I can move this to the back. So if you wanted to make it even more unique, you can do so very easily using the image library. All sorts of cool features in there too. I really hope you found this video helpful. I do want to point out that the link to this Kittle app is free, but it is an affiliate link. And that means if you sign up, I would receive a small commission. However, I do recommend Kittle. I use it a lot for my print on demand. It's easy, it's free. There's also a pro plan if you're interested. I highly recommend checking them out in more detail. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your Kittle experience with print on demand.